welcome to another family vlog. We are headed to get breakfast this morning um, with Seth's dad and family. Um, and then his dad is gonna keep the boys. We got Tate, we've got Brooks. They're gonna keep the boys while we go run a few errands. Um, we're gonna take you guys along this week and kind of give you, woo, yeah. Kind of give you guys a look at our regular day-to-day -day life. Um, as some of you may know, but some of you may not, we both work full-time jobs and we do all of the cattle farming and all on the side. So we're gonna try to give you a look at what our day-to-day -day lives look like um, with working two jobs, having two young kids. And uh, we're gonna start that today by showing you what our prep for the week looks like. Catch up with you guys later. Okay. What's up guys? We're on our way to Academy. We're... <laughs> Why are you laughing? You just slammed. Shut. It was in the way. Like he has a meanness in him. It just, like it says something bad about your mother or something. <laughs> What's up guys? We are headed to Academy to get some, to look for, to look for some bait. What are we baiting, babe? Possums, coyotes, coons. Anything that could be a wrist or a farm. Now, do we have to buy a specific bait for it? Well, I'm using a certain type of travel that recalls a certain type of bait. You mean requires? Can I say? Recalls? Yeah, requires. Okay, so Academy should have it, we hope? Yeah. All right. Royal King has it. Royal King's got it. Academy and everywhere else. Because most time, Royal King don't care. Yeah, but Academy's less redneck. They still do trapping. Okay. Well, we'll see if... I'm freaking squinting. See, look at you getting mad with them sunglasses. No, what they say about your mom? <laughs> Nothing good, I guess. We will um, take you along inside here with us and let you know when they, when they build a Waffle House. <laughs> Shows you how many times we come to town. <laughs> we'll catch up with you in Academy. What did you find? And that's gonna be good for your trap? Oh, I ain't never trapped before. I ain't trying to do. Have you not done any researching? No. Kind of winging it. I was hoping they had uh, some traps. But apparently they don't. We'll grab this and this and see if they got anything else. Okay. Then we'll get the coon. Coon will get the coon. You haven't like YouTube or anything what to get? Well, I've watched people trap them. We don't, we don't need to make them cozy. We got sleeping bags right there. <laughs> You don't want to catch them up in a bag. Wrap them up in it. <laughs> what are these used for? You want to make that racket? I don't know. Let's put it on your head so you can pretend to be a few. <laughs> Call them ladies in. <laughs> I really want to get into bow hunting. Keep that in mind for Christmas. Yeah, okay. Because I'm an expert in what to buy. Yeah, you go to like an outdoor store and, uh, hey, I need this. I need to ask somebody where the track is. Okay. Alright, so did you decide on what to do? Yeah. Academy's about as worse as dual camp. This is all they got. They don't have nothing else. Coyote, Told you I didn't think they would. Coyote urine, coon urine. Hope we can catch a possum or something like that. All right. I guess we'll pick up. 
All right, guys, we have made it to Sam's, so I'm going to show you kind of what I do for our once a month big grocery shop where I try to get like our snacks, our um, stuff like laundry, detergent, anything I can buy in bulk that's good for the month, I try to go ahead and buy that in here. And then um, later when we get home, I'll try to show you some of our prep that I do for the week um, with the stuff that I buy in here. Okay, you ready to go? Yep. You fueled up? Nope. All right, we'll catch you in the store. All right, we've got back to the car. He's already loaded up most everything. We've got some snacks, um, some oranges, watermelon for, for the boys, bread, eggs. Uh, we got Cokes for us this week. Big pack of laundry detergent. We're about to go run in uh, Walgreens and Winn-Dixie as well. We got to run in uh, Winn-Dixie to get a few things that we didn't get in here. Some, some more fruit, bacon. Um, and then we're gonna go by Walgreens and pick up some pictures for a project the boys have this week at daycare. You wanna put the eggs up front with you? Yeah, I'll put them up front with me. You wanna close the trunk? Um, we will catch up with you guys. At Winn-Dixie. At Winn-Dixie, okay. All right, so I am started on my meal prepping, which is one of the things we do on the weekends. I've got um, some water boiling here with pasta for Brooks. It's something new that I'm gonna be trying this week. I am getting their snacks for the week. Um, sorry, camera angles are terrible. I'm getting their snacks for the week, some veggie straws, some goldfish, some gummies, all put up where they go. Um, we have a basket that I pull from all week. And then, oh gosh, I should excuse, I've got laundry in process. Um, okay, hold on. And then I'm gonna be making up some peanut butter sandwiches for Tate and um, getting some fruit cut up. So I'll catch back up with you guys later and I'll show you all the progress I've made and what their lunches look like meal prepped. Good morning guys. It's been a little while, but we're headed to check the cows this morning. Yeah. So we're not taking them anything. No, we're just gonna go check on them this morning. See how they're doing? Um, you did get in touch, well, Papa got in touch with somebody about some hay. Yeah, we bought tan rolls from a guy down the street from where they're at right now so they're supposed to be delivered next week yeah cool. hopefully fingers crossed i get my truck back within the next week or so because it's been what another well, month yeah i mean i basically pay for a truck to sit in the shop right now yeah that's pretty disappointing i'm not gonna lie but we've had a lot of good times in the old ranch tonight yeah, over in Sonata. We, car pulling's been fun, but it's been kind of exhausting. Yeah, a little bit. But I just can't go and do as I want to right now. When I want to leave work, I just can't leave work. Okay, well, I'm having to try to. Whatever. I'm having to try to juggle and manage. But, but. hopefully, they can get some fruit. Monday and they can fix the next week and I have back by Friday. And then we can move Oh down. yeah, because we're still waiting for them to approve it before they yeah, can they fix have, it. Yeah. The insurance. <clears throat> insurance is a scam. <laughs> Don't let me get into my rants about it, but insurance is a scam. Insurance is not a scam. My eyes it, look so... Do I look tired this morning? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Insurance is not a scam. If they cover this, if they don't cover it, is it a scam? I'm lawyer enough if they don't cover it. If they told me they would cover it if I had any more problems out of it. Well, okay. We'll go from there. All right, guys. We will try and pick up with you for real this time. I feel like we say that constantly. We'll pick up with you when we get there, and then we just never pick you back up. We'll try to pick up with you guys and let you see how the cows are doing right now. We do know that we've got some mamas that still have some very big babies on them. They need to be so I was gonna say so if they are looking a little thin we understand and we're trying to get that handled right now we just have no way to get the cows separated from the calves. There's nothing we can do. If they were out in the wild they'd be in this situation anyway. So we're not mistreating the cows by not getting the calves off of them. It's, listen, you see these bags under my eyes? 
my calf back there was up all night long using me as a bottle, so I sympathize. Any last words? I forgot my dip out. I guess we'll also pick up with you guys at the gas station. I'm thinking that we're going to feed him something. Your Uncle Earl bought a bag of corn over here because he wanted to get to And Zeus almost knocked him down. Oh, yeah. Lord. He, he doesn't do it being mean. He just wants to get in there. And get up on top of everything first? Yes. Mm. I'm worried about that him trying to do that to me, push me aside. Because he doesn't do it so bad as that red cow does. Because she's not scared of me at all. All the cats still doing good? Yeah. They've gotten big. I mean, look at them. Yeah. They need to be, they need to be pulled by this one. This is my favorite one right here. Oh, boy. Yeah. I have to watch him because he tries to come out the gate. <laughs> He wants to be a house cow? I think he wants to get in this grass. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. He sees green grass and he'll run it. But that little heifer, she won't come in. I've tried and tried. I even tried to put some stuff to the side to see if she, but she won't have, she won't even come up here and drink water while I'm up here. All right, so right now while we're carpooling, this is kind of our end of the day schedule. I just got off work. I am headed to pick up Seth. Normally we would go pick up the kids from daycare. His dad is supposed to be picking them up for us though because we've got to run and check the cows. So when we get done checking the cows, we'll go pick them up from his dad's house instead of from daycare. We will pick up with you guys when we probably when we get to check the cows. The lightning didn't kill it. You want to reach out and grab it? Not really, but I want to go in there and make sure that calf is What calf? Oh, the one laying over there? Give me a stick, I throw it at it. I ain't got my tennis shoes on today, I might have to run. Well, oh, I'm BJ. not coming in there. BJ, come on here. Come on, BJ. How did he get through the fence? Oh, he turned it off. Oh. Is that the little baby? I don't know which one that is. No, I thought this was the little baby. I thought that one was the little baby too. Just playing dead. Well, they've been laying on top of that all day. When he put that in here, they he put it all the way up here. And they rolled it back They there? rolled it all over the place. Oh my God. Yeah, that's the baby because he's got the white belly. If you had some sweet feed, they'd come up to you. I think they've gotten tamer. Yeah, I think so too. Number 33 is giving you the eye. That white one? Yeah, the, oh, that the other, oh yeah. With the black bull calf. Still Telling you, it's hard to get a baby off. You tell me I give him a check whenever I get to my checkbook. No, I, I went ahead and... He's got 20 more bells and he's not gonna move them, he said. They're gonna be over there if we want some more. Next time, if he brings one in here, yeah, he, he would. He said he would have put it anywhere. Yes. Well, I told Mara when I bring the catch pin here, I'm gonna set it right up in this bottleneck right here, so I can 
fold it all the way out. Yeah. And kind of use this front part as like a holding thing. He said that they moved that bell. The cows did. Well, they, they they're the ones that put the it there. <laughs> they would have got out to that today. These the red cow and one of them white ones that stood up there at that fence and just bellowed at them bells today. Like like crazy. Like there's not grass out there. So today is Monday, so probably Thursday we'll come back with another one here. They've got plenty of grass. I don't know why y'all need to Yeah, it's getting pretty thin picking grass. I know, but I'm looking. There's still. This is just glo clover. Oh, they won't eat that. Well, it's not tall enough off the ground to eat. Mm. It, it looks like it out here, but when you get in there, it's not. Yeah, I got you. So you think they'll be okay until Thursday without another one? Yeah. I got a bag of feed. I'm gonna give them tomorrow. That's popping even hotter than it was. This box is good. Huh? So it's good. You ain't gotta worry about it. I for sure thought though it hit one of these T posts and it backfed through and got your house. That's what I was worried about. Or hitting one of them damn well pipes. <laughs> that water heater was eight hundred and sixty-five dollars. All right. Good morning. You can't really see Seth because the sun is shining <laughs> so bright. <laughs> There he is. Um, we are leaving the house now. Um, this is kind of our regular morning routine. It's a, I almost said Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday <laughs> vlog, or it's a regular video posting day, 12.30. It's Tuesday, not Wednesday. It's Tuesday. It's been a long week already. The little one, if you can see the bags under my eyes, um, he's not slept in days. He's just waking up like 10, 15 times a night and wanting to eat. And um, so I'm I'm exhausted. But it's a regular um, school day for us, work day. So we've got the boys in the back. We're gonna go drop them off to daycare first. And then um, I'll drop Seth off at work and then I'll go to work. Seth made us up breakfast this morning. He's got uh, breakfast sandwiches for the two of us. I had meal prepped our lunches, so Seth and Tate both have peanut butter sandwiches. Um, Brooks has buttered pasta, and then I made myself um, two quesadillas, just popped them in the microwave this morning, and I'll pop them back in the microwave at work to kind of heat them up. Um, this is what our regular mornings look like as a carpooling family while the, uh, the old truck is in the shop. So, we will pick up with you guys sometime later this week. Bye. Okay. Uh, on Saturday I had mentioned about the meal prepping and I said I would come back and show you guys what that kind of looked like. So here is what um, we have. Right here I have sandwiches for Seth, sandwiches for Tate. Um, this is the pasta I made Brooks. This is some pasta for me. Um, I also, if we look down in the refrigerator, hold on just a second. It is um, Tuesday, so we've already used up some of it, but we had um, the lunch containers for Tate and for Brooks with stuff that just needed to be refrigerated. So right now it just has a fruit in it. For Tate, I would take and add later on his um, sandwich into there. Um, and then I keep my lunch supplies. I Seth is fine with taking a sandwich every day. Tate's fine with taking the same thing. Brooks is a baby, so he can't really complain. But I like to swap mine up a little more. So I usually take leftovers of whatever we're having. Um, and then I also mentioned our snack bucket. It is still fully packed. I need to add a little bit of veggie straws to there. Um, we got our oranges. Another thing I meal prep is Brooks's oatmeal in the morning. Um, and I keep his snacks kind of separate. So he has those and crackers. And yeah, that's kind of how we keep our stuff stored up during the week. Um, I try to swap up what the boys eat every week, um, but it's a fruit, usually a veggie. We don't have a veggie this week. Um, and then Tate takes peanut butter sandwiches or chicken nuggets or sometimes leftovers. Like today, we're gonna have uh, pigs in a blanket. So if we have leftover, he'll take that. Seth takes peanut butter sandwiches or leftovers if we have them. And then Brooks takes 
usually a fruit, a veggie. And then um, pasta was something new we tried this week and he really is liking it. So we are gonna probably add pasta into our rotation.